Good morning, everybody. This is Jake. It's Monday today, September 23rd. Today, the gospel, Jesus talks about being the light, right? That shines through and that you cannot and should not uh, put it under the bed or uh, under a bushel or, or a vessel, right? We are all supposed to be light in the world, carrying Christ in us and the light of Christ in us. Look at what we do in this parish. There, the light of the world. The light of the world, Jesus Christ, is kept in the dark in this church, St. Joseph. This is what they do here every day. This is what I've been fighting against for the longest time now. This is very wrong. There's no theology behind this. It's all an administrative rule that is very theologically wrong. The light of the world, ladies and gentlemen, is there, kept in the dark. So today, in the light of today's gospel, you can see exactly why this practice is very, very wrong. The light of the world has wanted to remain with us in the tabernacle, to be present with us every day so that we can come here at our convenience to visit him, to be with him, to share our difficulties, to pray and, and ask for supplication of grace and whatever else we need. Yet, look at what we do in St. Joseph's. We lock him up there. We keep him in the dark. We do not allow people, the general public, to come here and pray to our Lord and console him for waiting for us for more than 2,000 years now. We are all being deprived. We, the faithful, are being deprived of this light of life and our Lord being in the tabernacle. And we are depriving our Lord of our love, of our affection by having to come freely any time of the day to come visit him. This is very, very wrong. And those of you who might have influence to talk to the next pastor about this problem, please do so. Because they're tired of me here already. They're tired of hearing me uh, <laughs> talking about this. Maybe the next pastor can do something about it. Those of you who have influence to the next pastor, please do something about it. This is theologically wrong. This is not the right thing to do as far as our Lord is concerned, staying with us in the tabernacle. We need to open this church. We need to open access to our Lord for everybody. Everybody. They say that you should go to the Adoration Chapel if you want to go visit. Well, I got news for you. It's not open for everybody. <laughs> you got to have a code. You got to, you know, have all of those kinds of uh, restrictions to go and visit. Besides, the Adoration Chapel is a special devotion that is not for everybody. What is for everybody is our Lord in the tabernacle. Let's make him more accessible. He is the light of the world. And in today's gospel, we, we are reminded to be light for everybody else. But we are keeping the source of light inaccessible to everybody. This is very wrong. Theologically, very, very wrong. I hope you, more of you, will speak up and talk to the next pastor about this very, very grave error that we are practicing right 